so hello guys welcome back to my channel so in this video we are going to see a new root finding technique that is regular falsi method so first let's see the formula so see here x of n plus 1 is equals to x of n minus 1 f of xn minus xn f of n xn minus 1 f of xn minus f of xn minus 1 so n n n n n it's a little bit you know okay <laughs> whatever so let's just take a simple uh, the num numbers the substitute numbers will be easy like okay if you need to find x2 we you need x0 and x1 so first x0 into f of x1 minus x1 f of x0 by f of x1 minus x0 it is easy no compared to this all in if you find, need x2 you need x0 and x1 okay so that's how you find okay so this is also a slightly similar to bisection method here you need to check the signs also that's how the then you will you will use this formula so let's get into that okay now see here procedure first f of x is equal to 0 that will be given now you find x0 and x1 okay there we found what uh, there we found what uh, a and b okay here also we can do that but uh, it's since the formula is in x let's take in x okay f of x naught and x1 such that f of x naught is less than 0 and x, f of x1 is greater than 0 so this condition should be satisfied when we put this values in this formula okay this f of x1 should be greater than the f of x naught that's only we can use that formula so mostly to get the positive values okay now if find f of x2 if f of x2 is less than 0 okay then x3 lies between f of x2 and x1 okay here f of x2 less than 0 and f of x1 greater than 0 okay so this is uh, what we have so we have to take since f of x2 is less than 0 that's why we have to take x1 to find x3 okay but if uh, see if to find x3 it's less than no so like this you'll get formula okay now see here if f of x2 is greater if f of x2 is greater than 0 then you have to take f of uh, x2 less than 0 sorry one minute f of uh, greater than f of x0 f of x0 less than 0 you have to take okay if it is if x2 is greater then you have to take uh, x0 less than 0 okay that's how you take the condition to find x3 then now you need x0 and x2 okay repeat this process okay repeat this process till you find roots till up to correct up to two decimal points or three decimal points so let's see a problem there then you'll understand very perfectly okay so guys here let's see uh, the uh, problem here in this uh, find the root of the equation 2x log x is equals to 7 using false position method so this is our f of x okay now we have to find the uh, x naught and what values x naught and x1 values we have to find okay now for this i have taken um, f of 0 also f of 1 also f of 2 also but it, it didn't satisfy the criteria of f of x naught less than 0 and f of 1 greater than 0 sorry f of x1 wait f of x1 greater than 0 so it has to satisfy this criteria so now finally i have turned it uh, to f of 3 and uh, f of 4 okay uh, f of 3 i got negative value and f of 4 i got positive value now let's take a look at the formula so here guys now since we got our values of x1 and x2 now we have to substitute it in the value uh, formula okay now x0 value is what 3 x1 value is what 4 okay that said okay uh, then we found uh, in the in the we have saw that we found f of x1 and x f of x0 value also substitute all the values to find x2 okay now we got x2 now you find f of x2 to assign its sign so f of x2 we found and it uh, is less than 0 okay less than 0 means what to do we have to take x1 x1 is greater than 0 so now we have the root which uh, x3 
okay whatever root the x3 is there no that lies between x2 and x1 okay now x3 is equals to x2 f of x1 minus x1 f of x2 f of x1 minus f of x2 you substitute the values of f of x2 f of x1 x1 and x2 in this formula okay in this formula to find the root you got 3.7892 here 3.78 see up to two decimal we got right that's enough that's enough they don't mention you find up to two decimal here we got uh one minute here we got 3.78 here we got 3.78 so the required root is 3.789 that's it that's how you do the uh, false position method in another video i'll explain another sum it's a very easy one right and after i wrap up this root finding techniques let's go to laplace transforms okay